So the next chapter that we are going to learn is chapter number six, planning and risk assessment. In this chapter, we are going to learn specifically four ESAs. ESA 200 audit objective, ESA 300 audit planning, ESA 315 risk assessment, ESA 330 risk responses. So this chapter is all about the audit risk and audit risk you would have learned in your AA subject but if you are exempted then I have a few reading materials for you to prepare at least uh, read and understand the base concept um, and then we will talk about the risk again refresh your memory and then take you to the AAA level but in AAA, AA you would have only learned about audit risk but in this particular chapter for AAA you should also learn business risk what is financial risk operational risk and compliance risk so business risk is also examinable for your uh, AAA syllabus and risk assessment is one of the most important chapter for your AAA it is questioned as part of your section A 50 marker question and majority of the questions will be based on the business risk and the audit risk Unlike AA where you just have to write one or two sentences for each of the risk, in AAA you will have to go deeper. You have to explain the risk in a deeper way, why it is occurring, quote the relevant accounting principles and transactions and write about the responses that you will be uh, doing for your audit. Uh, for your audit. Apart from that, few things that you will also cover is ESA 320, materiality in planning and performing an audit. So we are going to learn what is materiality, what is performance materiality, etc. And ESA 520 analytical procedures. And this ESA 520 is part of our uh, ESA 315 risk assessment. Okay. So it's a very important chapter. So I do uh, advise all the students to spend quality time with this chapter, understand the topic, prepare a lot of questions from this chapter and then only move to the next chapter because it's very important that you understand this concept very well so i have planned this in such a way that certain base topics we will be giving you reading materials and as well as i'll be explaining through a short summary and topics relating to AAA we will go in a much more deeper way to give a simple example materiality you would have learned what is materiality in AA, but you might have to link the materiality and write it as a risk assessment in your answers for your AAA. So that's how deeper you are expected to write. 